Crikey mates, my name is Yakend, and in this episode of How To Elemental Adventures, we're going to be going over how to rank up in a given elemental group, how to get titles to display above your head, and even how to update your roles in the Discord server, as this is a known issue for a lot of users. If you want to know all this and more, make sure to stick to the end of the video. However, I must first go over some rules and caveats to ranking. Ranking is a role-playing scenario, so first of all, you should know that you're role-playing the ranks you're given. You shouldn't take offense to certain rules or be upset if you break them and lose your rank. It's purely to maintain the role-play of the game. Nothing is really personal, and if it is, that's really a problem, and you should try to avoid making any decisions or taking any decisions personally, as it's often not an attack towards you. Furthermore, you actually have to be above the age of 13 to join the ranking. As a platform we use to communicate and announce exams and events and trainings and much, much more is Discord, which has the terms of service requirement of being at least 13 years old. And we will have to ban you if you are actually below that age. However, if you are below 13 and you do get banned, you will be unbanned, at least within the Wind Wanderers, as soon as you pass that birthday. Now onto the actual methods to rank up. Very quickly, if you wish to see your rank and other people's ranks, you want to click on settings and then turn show name tags and show own name tag and set that to true. The first thing you are going to want to do if you haven't already is make your way to the Roblox website. From here, you're going to want to search up the game's name, Elemental Adventure, and then look into the description. There'll actually be a group link here for the game. This group, upon joining, will actually give you two times coins, so I very highly suggest joining it. From here, you're going to want to click on Affiliates. Now, I'll let you look at the time code below, and you'll actually see the individual tutorial for each one of these allies, and then you can go and watch that. Thank you for choosing to join the Wind Wanderers. If you want to join the Wind Wanderers, you'll want to click on this first icon here, that's golden yellow. From here, you're going to want to click this Join Group button. Now, it may ask you to complete a capture, and that's perfectly fine. Just complete it. If not, fantastic. From here, you're going to want to click on one of two icons, either this icon right here or this one down here. Now, if these do not appear, that means your account age is set below 13. Now, this is fine so long as you are above the age of 13 because all the links are actually in the description below this video. However, exams may prove impossible if you are not above 13 on your account due to the rigid Roblox censoring filter. So you want to join the Flame Empire. Now what you're going to want to do is click this second link right here, which will take you to the groups page. Upon seeing this group page, you're going to want to click join group. You may be asked to complete a capture or not, that's fine. Now once you've joined the group, you're going to want to click on one of these two icons, either this one right here or this one down the bottom. Now, if these don't appear, that means that your account is set below the age of 13, and you'll have to either fix that or go in the description and click the link. It is perfectly fine, but keep in mind that exams may actually not be possible if your account is set too low due to the Roblox filtering system. So you want to join the Liquid Dynasty. What you're going to want to do is click on this fourth group link here, the somewhat bluish aqua cyan color. From here, you're going to want to click on join group. Now, this may ask you to complete a short capture. If it does, that's perfectly fine. Just complete it and move on. Now, from this point on, you're going to want to click on one of these two links, either this button up here or this one down here. Now, if they don't show up, that's fine. In the description below, you'll actually have all links available to you. However, if they don't show up, that means your account age is below 13, which will make participating in certain exams nearly impossible due to the Roblox filtering system. So you want to join the Rock Realm. What you're going to want to do is click the third icon right here, the greenish icon. You're going to want to click this button here, join group. Now this may ask you to complete a capture. If not, that's perfectly fine. From this point, you're going to want to click on one of these two icons, either this one up here or this one down here. Now, if neither of those appear, that's perfectly fine. All links are in the description below. However, it may mean your account age is below the minimum age of 13. This is fine so long as you personally are above 13. However, it may prove to make certain exams impossible due to the known strict Roblox filtering sensor. So keep that in mind. From here, you may be prompted to make a Discord account or log back in. Now, if you do not have an account already, you're going to want to click on this button down here to register for an account. And you'll simply have to input an email, username, password, and date of birth. Now, please keep in mind, if your date of birth is set below 13, your account will not be created because Discord requires 
13 or above. Now that you have joined the Discord server of your choosing, you may notice that you actually don't have access to any of the channels as you are being told you must verify. Now to verify, you're going to want to go over to Google and search up the website called Blockslink. Now, the first button should be Blockslink. If it's not, make sure that you go to the URL at the top of the description that says Blockslink. It may not be at the very top, but it should be visible and easy to see. And you're going to want to click this button here. Sign in with Discord. Assuming you are logged in, you will be prompted to sign in with the account that you have selected. For me, it's Recording EA, which is a temporary account, but it should be whatever name you had selected. After some time, your account will be linked to Blockslink. From this point, you're going to want to click on go to dashboard and then click link a new Roblox account. There are two methods to linking an account. One is game verification and the other is code verification. We're going to go over both in this episode and you'll actually see in the timeline a distinct cut where it says game verification and code verification to see exactly which one you want to do. So you've chosen game verification. What you're going to want to do is go over to the Roblox website and copy letter for letter your name even a small mistake may not work so make sure to copy it exactly into this field here click game verification and then click verify ownership now you will have to wait for a second and i'll say join our verification game you click that button right there all you have to do is press play open roblox upon roblox opening it'll simply ask you if the account that it's checking for is in fact your account you click yes that's me and I believe it will kick you straight out of the game and you will be linked. Thank you. Done. That's it. Now you're going to want to head back to the Blocks Link website that you should have left open and click I've finished verifying in game. Now that you've done that, you'll simply click the server which you want to verify with, which will be the one that you're ranking up in or all of them so that you can speak in them. So you've chosen to do code verification. What you're going to want to do is click code verification, then click verify ownership. From here, it will tell you to put a special code in your profile description. Simply click this button, which will automatically copy it to your clipboard. Click profile description. Go over to this about me button here. Enter that just with control plus V or press right click and then paste. Then click save. Now, some people may have to unlock certain things in their profile, so you'll just want to go over to the settings and do that. But for me, I just had to put it in my about me, and it's completely done. I click, I've put the code on my profile, and boom, I'm done. I can click all of these, verify my account, and speak in all of their channels. Upon verifying, you're going to have access to the general channel, the pictures channel, and the announcements, and maybe a few other channels, depending on which server you verified in. You can talk inside the general freely so long as it's within the several rules and it's not causing issues if it does you will be moderated by people who are instructor or above different ranks have moderation privileges in different well powers now for the most important part of this and what a lot of you may want to know that's how do i get my rank after i've participated in an exam well it's actually very very easy a lot easier than what may think you'll want to go to the roblox blocks link website you're going to want to click on the account you wish to verify slash update click on it then click on the well power of your choice and this button down here just click finish this will update you on your end in that server you'll get a direct message from blocks link which will then give you your roles now i don't actually have any roles because i'm unable to join the group right now but you get the picture that concludes this episode of how to elemental adventure now the comment i wanted to show off for this episode is this one here asking me to do tutorials on the best leveling methods that is coming soon however i have to do a little bit more research into exactly what are the best leveling methods however i'm sure there are some fine tutorials available already that'll be all thank you for watching goodbye